Let's talk about working agreements in Holacracy. So what is a working agreement in Holacracy? Working agreements are a new construct that's been added in Constitution version 5, which is still in development. They are agreements between partners that govern how the partners themselves behave and interact with each other in the organization. This is distinct from a policy or a domain because it governs people, not roles. Holacracy really doesn't try to address governance of people at all, but that's something that comes up a lot and a question that lots of people have. So to address that, there's this new freeform concept called a working agreement. The way working agreements work is that any partner can enter into a working agreement with any other partner at any time, and any partner can rescind or revoke their agreement at any time. What this allows people to do is know how they're going to work with each other without having to resort to implicit expectations. Again, one of the values in Holacracy is explicit over implicit. So let's see exactly what it says in the Constitution about working agreements. So we'll start off on the Holacracy One GitHub, which has the latest version of the Constitution. And if you scroll down under Table of Contents, Operations, here we have a new section in version 5, People and Partnership. Um, so we have two new concepts, partner relationships, which we're not going to get into, and then working agreements. The organization's partners may make working agreements about how they will interact with each other or fulfill their general functions as partners, again, distinct from roles. Working agreements are for shaping partner behaviors that underpin role-based work and may not define expectations only relevant when a partner is already energizing a specific role, nor expectations around how a partner will prioritize across different roles. Working agreements may only specify concrete acts to do or behavioral constraints to honor and may not include promises to achieve specific outcomes or embody abstract qualities. And here I think the attention is to avoid um, putting values on people and um, to keep the working agreements really grounded in behavior, which is another thing that you see in Holacracy a lot is a focus on tangible behaviors, not the beliefs behind those behaviors. And then it says, as a partner, you have a duty to align your behavior with any working agreements you have made. A facilitator may also enforce any relevant working agreement while facilitating a circle's governance process or tactical meeting, provided they do not conflict with the prescribed process or any rule in this constitution. So that's a quick summary of working agreements, a new construct in the Holacracy Constitution version 5. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. Share this video with anyone who you think might be interested. Uh, that's how I know to keep making more content, and I really love doing it. So I really appreciate your support, and let's work better together.